Well, hey there, CB Radio folks. So I wanted to make a video, quick video about this meter here. This MFJ 870. These are available for right about a hundred dollars with free shipping off um, Amazon and eBay. Um, I guess I wanted to give my overall thoughts about this meter and I wanted to compare it to the same exact meter that I just bought again. Um, I've been seeing a lot of meters like the dosi meters, you know, and the par paradynamics, the uh, three window meters. Those things are going for a lot of money nowadays because I guess they're no longer made. All the ones I see are used and you know, they're going for a heck of a lot more than they used to sell for brand new. So I figured I'm going to grab one more of these even though I don't need it. I'm going to put it back in its box and put it in the cabinet in case I need it in the future. That way instead of paying, uh, I think it was like, I don't know. 90 something dollars for it, 98 dollars, whatever it was, shipped to my door. You know, I don't want to have to pay 150 dollars for it next year or the year after, so I figured I'd have to. I'm not going to show it on camera, but since I got it, I did take it out of the box, take it out of the plastic, and I tested it against this one. Now, first of all, this amplifier does 2100 watts. PEP. That's on a bird meter. Two bird meters, as a matter of fact. And an MFJ uh, true peak reading meter. On all three of those meters, it's read 2100 watts. Now, this says peak reading. Peak reading. But it's not true. a true peak reading meter. Because to get true PEP, it has to have a powered circuit. Not not just a little plug in the back for the light like uh, these guys have. All that does is operate the light for the face here. So a true PEP reading meter will have a powered circuit, which this does not. So it attempts to read PEP, but it can't do it accurately. Anyways, um, so I know for a fact that amplifier does 2100 watts. I've had it on two text benches. I've seen it for myself on the bird meters. And I've also seen it on one of the MFJ, uh, the, the big, the big face meters. That is a true PEP reading meter with a power circuit. So anyways, on this particular meter right here, it'll show a PEP reading of 1550. On this meter, it shows a PEP reading of 1600. We're only talking 50 watts, but between these two meters, There is a 50 watt difference on the 3000 watt scale in PEP mode. Um, I know 50 watts at you know that kind of power. I guess it's not much, but I bought both of these meters brand new. I was the first user of both of them, and I do think they're a good tool. I would like to see them read actual PEP numbers, true PEP numbers, which they don't. You can read about that and you'll see I'm right about that. But still, from what they can read from going from 1550 to 1600, it is a 50 watt difference. I'd like to hear from anyone that's um, using any of these and see what your uh, See what your thoughts are, what your experience has been with them. Now, with that said, for the price they cost, right around $100 of free shipping, I think it's a good buy. I think it's a good meter. It gives a good, you know, um, 
fairly accurate um, reading of what your equipment's doing so you know your equipment's working. Let's put it that way. You know, um, like I say, the, the, the PEP can definitely be higher because when I first bought the amp, I bought this meter spe specifically for it because it had such great ratings on Amazon. You know, this one here. And I'm calling the builder up telling him, hey, you know, I'm only seeing, you know, this many watts out of it. It's not doing what it did on your video. And uh, I saw it. I saw it on this fellow's bench right here. I know exactly what this is doing. And I saw it on this guy's bench. And I saw it on my other buddy's uh MFJ Big Faced True Peak Reading Meter right here on this exact setup hooked up where that goes right there and it read the same. So this is not a true peak reading meter, but it, it, it works. It's good for me. I know what the amp does. It lets me know it's working. Um, I'm happy with it. For the price point, I think it's a very good meter. It shows, you know, reverse power which which is helpful um you know it goes up to 3000 watt scale which is helpful it shows pep and average power um it is accurate on average power it shows exactly what i saw from that on the other benches um swr is right on point but that 50 watts between the two of them right out of the box brand new eh I guess you just got to accept it. Anyways, thanks for watching. That's my review. I don't think you're going to find a better meter for that $100 price point. Um, let me know what you guys think. Have a good one.